All right, so um, so in this equation, um, notice how there's three fractions, and there's only one whole number, right? So, so fractions are greater, are are, are there's more fractions than there are whole numbers. So in this, in this, what I'm gonna show you, um, we're gonna make all of them a fraction, and then we're gonna make all of them the same denominator. So, so. You see how this three has nothing underneath? We're gonna put a one. All right. So then now we have to think about this thing called the LCD, the lowest common denominator. The lowest common denominator is a number, right? We don't know what it is yet. That all of these go into. So five, let's say it could be ten, right? Because five goes into ten twice. Three, however, does not go into ten. So it cannot be ten. So let's try 15. 5 goes into 10. 3 goes into 10. And 1 goes into 10. We already said that. So, yep, the answer. Our LCD is 15. Alright. So now that we figured out that our LCD is 15, now we're going to convert all of them into the lowest common denominator. And we're going to do it in this manner. Alright, so I'm using red. Um, so right here, how do I get 15 in the 5? Well, we have to multiply it by 3, right? What you do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And then here, how do I get 15 here? Well, I have to multiply it by 15. And again, what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And here, how do I get 15? Multiply it by 5, and then multiply it by 5. Trust me, this is the easiest way to do it. Um... And then here, how do I get a 15 down here? We'll have to multiply by 5 again. See? So what this is going to do, this is going to change everything to lowest common denominator of 15. So let's start with this one. What's negative 2 times 3? That's negative 6. Let me do it in black. Um, so that is negative 6 over 3 times 5 is 15. And then right here, 3 times 15 is 45 over 15. That is okay. This is improper. 2 times 5 is 10 over 15x. And then plus 1 times 5 is 5 over 15. See, this is what we want it. All the bottoms to be the same. Because only then does it make it easier for us to solve. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and combine like terms. So this... And this are like terms, and this and this are like terms. All right. So again, we're gonna move every all the variables to the left hand side, and then whole numbers or in this case fractions to the right hand side. So we're gonna subtract 10 over 15x. Subtract 10 over 15x. And you say, oh well, how do you subtract this right here? Right? Well, they're just the same numbers, just opposite signs. One is positive and negative. They cancel. And then here, uh, we have two fractions, and they're both negative. So we're going to go ahead and add them. So it's going to be negative 16 over 15x. All right, plus 45 over 15 equals 5 over 15. So now I can subtract 45 x 45 over 15. Subtract. 45 over 15 right so if we start at 5 and then we take away 45 we're gonna jump way too much right it's gonna be on um, negative 40 so it's gonna be negative 40 over 15 on this side right so I run out of space so we're gonna um, scoot this over I'm gonna put it over here, right there, and then we're gonna see if we can copy this and put it over here as well, right? There you go, and then this equals, right? Because that's what we have. Um, sorry for all the messiness. Um, 
So now that they're all 15s, the reason why I wanted all 15s is because now they can go away. We can actually erase them. Right? Now we only have 16. X equals 40. And then we go ahead and divide both sides by 16. Divide this by negative 16. And we get X equals. And negative divided by negative is positive. So you're going to get positive. Um, let's see how many times is 16 going to 40. Uh, let's see. 16 goes into 40. Let's say probably three times. Six times three. Time out of effort out of space. Uh, erase this one again. Yeah, and then move it up there. Sixteen times three we said. Sixteen times three. It's gonna be um eight, carry one, four, forty eight. Nope, that's too high. So let's do times two, it's gonna be times two. Thirty two. So there you go. So we said negative and negative. Then you divide up, get a positive. So it's going to be a positive answer. So we set that 16 and erase this because I'm running too much out of space. So we set that 16 goes into 40 three times. And then we get 32, subtract it, you get 8. So there you go 16, 2, remainder 8. But you can also say 2 and then 8 16 which is the same thing as 2 and 1 half because 8 happens to be exactly half of 16 so the answer is 2 and 1 half there you go